Hi, I'm Dave Bergman, Vice President of International Relations for IPC, and I have this week's IPC Technical Question of the Week. This week's question relates to solder balls and IPC A610 requirements, specifically in the questions of what's acceptable uh, per the assembly. Now, the issue in this particular paragraph of reference is 5261, and it talks about whether solder balls remaining on the assembly after uh, the assembly process are acceptable. The big area of concern is uh, how large these solder balls are, uh, whether they're mobile, whether they can roll around or in the assembly operation and potentially cause a short. And so the specification is very clear that solder balls are acceptable as long as they're entrapped. What do they need to be entrapped in? Well, they can be entrapped in a conformal coat, they can be entrapped in uh, no clean residues, but you want to make sure that those solder balls aren't going to roll around on the assembly. A follow-on question on that is uh, what type of solder mask can be used to minimize the uh, occurrence or creation of solder balls on the assembly? Uh, this has been discussed quite often in uh, IPC's technical listserv uh, technet at ipc.org and the consensus of the group uh, was that uh, matte finish type solder masks are generally considered to be uh, more favorable of uh, resisting the creation of solder balls on the assembly. Like any lawyer, that would no they would normally say, well, it depends. And in reality, uh, you probably need to do some uh, uh, process checking to determine the proper solder mask uh, to be used in your operation. Uh, solder mask cure can also uh, uh, play a role in that. But certainly, a uh, general consensus is uh, you should be looking at matte solder, uh, matte finish solder masks if you're having uh, problems with the creation of solder balls in the assemblies. That's this week's technical question of the week. If you have one you'd like us to answer, please send it to answers at ipc.org.